Hey everyone, this is Stephen and this is day 19 of the FlowXO video advent calendar spectacular. We're nearly at the 20 day advent milestone. As a kid, the tension around Christmas would be getting unbearable at this point. And I've no doubt that you feel exactly the same way right now as you think about winning this amazing FlowXO hoodie that we're giving away in this month's competition. Tomorrow we'll recap on all the letters we've had so far and today's letter will be at the end of this video. Remember that for this month's competition we're looking out for the Christmas related word or phrase that can be made up from all the letters that I'm giving you out in this series of videos. Watch them all, collect the letters and unscramble them, email me the Christmas word or phrase, the first person to do so wins the hoodie. Okay, onto my desktop, let's take a look at a bot that's been brought to my attention today. So there's a great Facebook group I want to point out to you, which is aptly named Bots. Uh, uh, let's just navigate over there now. And I encourage you to join into this Facebook group and interact uh, with people worldwide who are building and using bots. It's a great place to ask uh, your design and development questions and you can catch all the bot news that you might have missed elsewhere. Seth Lurie over at Botlist posted a nomination competition today to fill the top spot on Botlist. Uh, as nobody had bought the top spot. So there are a lot of uh, bots posted there to be one selected at random and featured on that site. Um, that's given me uh, the bot that I want to show you today. The one that won that competition is going to feature in tomorrow's video. But today uh, I wanted to show off the Nerdify bot. Studying is probably the last thing on people's minds right now at this time of year, but this is definitely one to get in your messenger channel ready for the new year. I was really impressed with this bot. Um, it's going to help you um, ascertain the solution to any mathematical problem you throw at it, and it'll even draw you a little graph and post that as an image directly into uh, the messenger channel. I thought that was great. I thought it worked really well. It's really quick. It's got a good persistent menu down here at the bottom. Um, it allows you to share the bot so I can even propagate this and into other people's um, messenger channels and it'll hopefully go viral, uh, perhaps in the student community. I just thought it was a really well done bot. It's actually useful if you're, if you're studying mathematics or something like that. Take a look at it. Um, it's how to properly execute a bot. Okay, on to today's FlowXO hint. Uh, I just want to take a quick look at this article here, uh, released by VentureBeat yesterday. Why your next chatbot should be human augmented and not AI augmented? Well, I think there's an argument for both. However, right now in, uh, well, nearly 2017, I think we should definitely be looking at human augmented bots. And for that reason, Floixo were a little bit ahead of the curve on this one. And we released our messaging service really early. The messaging service allows anyone uh, to human augment their bot uh, by connecting up to Gmail, Freshdesk, Salesforce Desk, or any other ticketing software uh, so that you can blend bots and human interaction. We'll take a look at that right now. We're going to use the example business and its connected bot, the mortgage store, which we use in our weekly webcast. If you haven't seen one of Floixo's live getting started webcasts, I highly encourage you to do so. They run every Wednesday at 3 p.m. UTC and there'll be a link to sign up in the slides uh, in the final frames of this video. So here I am at Floixo. Okay, and if you've been watching the videos over the past couple of days, you'll remember we now have these fantastic templates in place, which allow us to just get going right away. And we're going to use the talk to a human flow straight away. Click it here. It's going to install the flow. It's as easy as that. I'm going to turn it on. Let's just run through what the flow is doing here. Uh, first of all, we're going to capture some common words or phrases that mean that uh, the person speaking to the bot would actually like to speak to a human for a little while. Uh, but we are going to have a reply word or uh, word in there as well, just to make sure that the, the ma we can maintain the thread of conversation with the human if we want to. In the next task here, um, we're just going to respond directly to uh, the human just to keep the flow of conversation going, keep the bot nice and interactive. Obviously, we need to make sure we filter that task just to make sure we don't say that if we're in the middle of a thread already, uh, a thread of conversation with the human. We're going to collect the message by asking a question. Uh, please tell me what you'd like to ask. In this next task, uh, we need to just make one small alteration. 
which is the email address that we'd like to send the message that the user has given us to the human that's going to eventually respond. So it's this address that's really important and it's this address that could be linked up to any of your ticketing software, any support software. In our case, just going to keep it really simple and use Gmail. But you can send this, you can route this message to absolutely any address. And we're going to give the message that was passed by the user. We're also going to give that reply shortcut here so we can re-trigger this flow and maintain the thread of conversation. And the final thing we're going to do is send a confirmation message to the user, again, just to keep the bot conversational, to keep people informed about what's going on. Okay, we've turned this flow on. Let's go and check this out in Messenger. So just to recap what we can trigger this flow on, talk to us, contact human, talk to human, send message. We'll use talk to human. And here we go. What would I like to ask as an example that we use in our weekly webcast? I've been told that somebody will get back to us in a few hours. I've got the option to send another message if I want to in the meantime. However, over in Gmail where I chose to route the message, there's the message that I gave. So I'm now the human interacting with this customer through the messenger interface. I'm going to hit send and that message will be seeded directly back into messenger. And once that message received, I've also got the reply button so I can route a message directly back to the human rather than speak to the bot. Alternatively, I can now break out and continue speaking to the bot. So you can see here right away, just by installing that template flow, um, in about 30 seconds, I've already human augmented my bot. It's that simple to do it with Floyd, so it really is that easy to get up and running and be ahead of the curve. Okay, so uh, we're on to today's letter again for the hoodie competition. It's another consonant today. We're closing in on that word or phrase, I'm sure. Today's letter is N, that's N for November. Email me the Christmas related word or phrase made up of all the letters in these videos. Watch the others in the series for the full set and win the hoodie. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel to get the rest of the videos in this series and to watch out for our live broadcast every Wednesday at 3 p.m. UTC, getting started with Flexo. See you all soon.